So as you may or may not know, we didn't necessarily lose the bump stock case, but we we got as close to losing the bump stock case as we could get to losing the bump stock case without actually losing the bump stock case. There's one other slim hope, slim possibility out there, but from what I'm told, it's not likely to work. So, what is the bump stock case? Well, back in the Trump era, they decided, the ATF, to use Chevron deference to go after bump stocks and declare those as a machine gun. What Chevron deference is, oh my God, that's a long story. So way back in the 80s, there was a company called Chevron Oil. The EPA was actually on their side, but there was this other company or global environmentalists that were like, hey, the law says each installation can only produce this much pollution and every single one of your smokestacks is an installation. And Chevron was answer, uh, going back saying, no, it's an umbrella term over the whole factory. The factory itself is the installation, not each individual smokestacks. And the EPA was on their side. Well, and one of the terrible things the Supreme Court did is they ruled that the EPA has the power to make decisions as long as they're not like criminal, like small decisions, like light decisions. And in this particular case, they could make the decision that yes, installation is an installation, not each individual smokestacks an installation. And it gave the bureaucracy agencies like the EPA, the DOT, the ATF, the FBI to be able to make decisions as long as they're not major decisions on interpretation of the law. So the bump stock case was strictly to attack Chevron deference. deference. And we thought it was going to go through because there are several Supreme Court judges that speak out against it. They're like, how can we give this much power to an agency that isn't elected, they're not voted in, the general public does not get any say on who is in charge of that. There's simply a bio I can never pronounce it right, bureaucracy agency. And now they have the power of the land, like they can make decisions that should be reserved only for Supreme Court judges. They can change laws simply by saying they interpret something different. No, that is not acceptable. And yeah, most of us agree with that. Like how can somebody like the ATF come down and just be like, oh, as of today, every single semi-automatic firearm that that it's more than one function of the trigger because you don't actually lift your finger off of the trigger. Now every semi-automatic firearm is now classified as a machine gun. Pistol braces are actually SBRs, little pieces of metal with a design on it, that's a machine gun. A bump stock that has absolutely, it doesn't take a magazine, it doesn't have a bolt, it doesn't have a barrel, it doesn't have a firing pin, it doesn't, it's not even in any sort of specific caliber, that little piece of plastic, that accessory itself is a machine gun. It's absurd. And they've been getting away with this by claiming deference. And the whole point of the bump stock case was to try to take that down so they can't just arbitrarily make up laws and make it impossible for people that want to be compliant to be compliant. Because at midnight tonight, they could decide that, I don't know, just make it up. They could decide that this widget is now illegal. And unless somebody's following the ATF very closely, which shouldn't be required of the general public, they would not know that. So little old grandma that's had this widget that's been legal for like 30 years, now it's illegal. A cop comes to her house because she fell down and broke her hip, sees this widget on her table, and is like, hey, uh, that's a federal charge that is classified by the ATF as a machine gun, so now you're going to jail. Like how was little old grandma supposed to know that this thing at midnight tonight became a machine gun? There's no way she could know. It's not even possible unless she follows the ATF or like a channel like this consistently. And that is terrible because how are they going to make laws that are impossible to follow? And they're doing this with Chevron deference. And the whole point of the bump stock case was to take that away from the ATF agency because this ain't some little decision on if flour is white or an off-white. Like, that's a little decision. Okay, we as the ATF are going to decide that flour is now classified as white, not off-white. That's a little decision. That affects nobody. 
Their decisions have the full weight of the government and felony charges to back it up and a bunch of hitmen with machine guns that'll come in your house at 5 in the morning. And we were hoping to take that away, but it got shot down. Uh, if you want more on the details exactly how it got shot down, I strongly recommend subbing to Crump. This is his channel right here. He went through it in depth exactly the court proceedings. I'm just doing on the, the video on why this is so bad. Because this got shot down, that reinforces the ATF that, hey, not only can we use Chevron difference to make arbitrarily laws to screw unexpected victims, now we even got backed up by the court system. And the court system said, yes, that is okay. You can change laws at zero dark 30 and just show up at someone's house at 5 a.m. without any warning, like, I don't know, Auto key card, for example. They didn't send him a letter being like, hey, this is classified as a machine gun. No, they showed up with machine guns, a tactical team, took him down, seized all of his assets, because now they consider a little piece of metal to be a machine gun. A business card. Without any warning. They decided this at zero dark 30. Didn't tell anyone. They just started arresting. So that was the problem. Because something like that little piece of metal that business card that should have went in front of the supreme court auto key card should have had attorneys to argue why it's not a machine gun the atf should have had attorneys why it is a machine gun the supreme court should have made a ruling with a cutoff date like hey as of today you know everybody knows as of today whatever date that is they pick as of this time on that day these are machine guns so if you have them you need to destroy them and if you get caught with them after this period, because the Supreme Court ruled that this is now a machine gun, now it's a machine gun. Not this sneaking around in the middle of the night and just showing up at people's houses with machine guns. No, this should have been a Supreme Court decision. Bump stocks should have went in front of the Supreme Court and there should have been two sides arguing the merits of why it is or is not a machine gun. There should have been an official ruling by the Supreme Court, people that get elected, people we can vote out if we don't like what they're doing, which I don't actually think you can vote on a Supreme Court, but the point is, like, we should have been able to have influence on that. No, just this biocker, just this agency decided all on their lonesome, without any oversight, without any public influence, that a bump stock is a machine gun. Yes, they had the comment period, but did it even make a difference? They got like 50,000 comments and that didn't change their mind. If 50,000 people are telling me not to do something, I would at least consider not doing it. I mean, I'm pretty stubborn, but 50,000 people? So clearly we don't get a say in the matter. Oh, but yeah, this changes everything because now the ATF has been reinforced by the court system that yes, they can make decisions whenever the hell they want. We were hoping to beat them, so the court system told them no because any decision you make has drastic implications on people's lives, like felony charges, getting shot in your bed while you're sleeping, losing your dog, stuff like that, that no, you can't make these decisions that need to be done by the Supreme Court. That's what we were looking for. It's not what we get. Again, it's not totally over, but it's as close to over enough. It's like, how many downs is there in football? Oh, quarters. It's like the fourth quarter with two minutes on the clock and they're up by like 27. So... It's basically over. Anyway, sorry about the bad news. Um, like to help support the channel on Patreon right there. I also have affiliate links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.